Hi and welcome to Reseller News. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is August 29th, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. I want to try to keep this news brief short and sweet, so without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, for those who are new, I just want you guys up there to know that I do not read everything verbatim. I will give you the URLs where I got the information from, and the rest is up to you to pick up where I left off. This one here comes from WFYM News 2, and the URL is w, uh, www.wf why yeah wf my news too okay you check it out that way if you want to you know go to the website they may have active hyperlinks in there and you may want to read more into it i'm going to play this clip in a second but i just want to read a little more into this here the story this was published august uh 27 2019 and the title is i tried to make money on poshmark and almost got scammed my pitches went up and possible buyers started asking me for more details but they wanted me to email them so it goes on to say here, Greensboro, North Carolina, it's simple premise. You don't want your stuff anymore, but it's worth selling, but it's worth something, so why not sell it? There is um, it go, then it goes on to say there are so many apps that venues to do this here, but there's a telltale sign to when the sale is sneaky. I posted a few items on Poshmark this week. It's an app that virtually consignment shop. Shortly after I posted the pitches, I got several messages. And then it goes a little, gives you a little example here as to uh, what the message was. And this one here, <laughs> beware of puppies on sale. <laughs> okay, this is another one, I guess. Uh, and they got some more over here. I didn't, re I didn't get a chance to go through all of them here. But uh, what we're, we're concerned pretty much with the one uh, with Poshmark. Uh, that's why I said if you guys want to uh, look at, check out these other ones here, uh, just go to the website yourself. I gave you the URL, and you can check it out that way. But before we get more into it, I'm going to mute my mic, let you hear what this person said, and then we're going to go to the next windows here. So here we go. Hey, don't miss this because this is something that is innocent, but I got to tell you, it is super sneaky. And before you know it, you're losing out. Let me explain. Just this week, I posted a few items on Poshmark. It's an app that is like a virtual consignment shop. As soon as I posted my pics, I started getting a few messages, right? People were interested. And were they still for sale? They wanted me to email them to talk about the details about all these other kinds of things. And so when you get a comment like this, you're thinking to yourself, score, I'm about to make some money. And that is exactly what they want you to focus on. You see, when you take the conversation off the app, whether it's Poshmark, Airbnb, a house rental listing, whatever it is, you have no protection. There's a reason that they want you to email them directly. They want you to take your product or your money. This is a scam. So what should you do? Okay, as a child of the 80s, I'm just gonna tell you this right off the bat. Just say no. That's right. Only do business on the actual site. Okay, that was a quick uh, that was a quick one there. So I'm gonna bump out of here really quick here. And I just want to say one thing, folks. I do sell on uh, Amazon. I mean uh, Amazon, I do sell on Poshmark, and uh, every now and then you will get people to uh, ask questions in regards to the size, the length, the material in some cases, you know. But for the most part, uh, I've been selling on there, well, I've been active on there for quite some time now, maybe close to a little over a year. Um, haven't made much sales off it. Uh, I found that one thing by being on Poshmark, it seems to me the, the items I did sell were pretty much new. They, it looks like the people that go on Poshmark, is, the way I see it, uh, a lot of them like to buy uh, new items. I just sold uh, a, a Zara knit uh, like a sweater uh, that came in earlier this morning uh, I accepted the offer because I do make you know I have a uh, best office on that that site too and I accepted it and I wanted to unload it uh, I just shipped it off today so we'll see what happens with that there um, you know like I said as far as the total sales I think I might have made a total of four sales so far uh, being a Poshmark um, it's good if you got you know women's clothing and stuff of that nature it seems to me you know as a guy selling on Poshmark, I know there are you know there are guys out there that do sell on as well. You know they sell men's clothing and stuff. I guess it's for both, but you know, to me personally, I always relate Poshmark basically more geared towards women. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that little quick video with you and just share that little uh, you know uh, website there about being almost being scammed. Uh, it's very brief, as you can see. I don't know what you the takeaway you get from it, but I hope it's, it is somewhat helpful. 
Okay, this next story is from So Cheshire, and the URL is www.so-cheshire.co.uk. Story was posted August 27, 2019, and the title is Easy Ways to Expand Your eBay Business. It goes on to say, if you started a business and, selling or, and are selling on eBay, you will want to maximize its impact. Since, its first, since it was first introduced in 1995, he has grown to be the largest e-commerce platforms and now has over 25 million sellers. You can be part of that success if you follow a few easy tips. I'm not going to read too much into it. I'm going to read the highlights. I will scroll down to the page if you do not choose to go to the uh, website, but I definitely uh, recommend you do. For the simple re reason, you'll have active hyperlinks like this one here and over here. Okay, so um, just keep that in mind. Uh, if you want to, you know, see the active Apple links, you're going to have to go to the uh, website itself. <clears throat> it goes on here to say, adding a new listing every, adding a new listing every day. If you have ten items to list, your eBay store will be more effective if you list one a day for ten days rather than putting them all up at once. Then it goes on to say here, the way eBay algorithm works is you are increasing your odds of getting the visitors to your eBay store by doing it this way. And then the rest is over here. Uh, Revisitors will see new items to which will help you keep their interest alive and has to be good for business. If you have nothing new to add, try changing something slightly. If it's an item not selling too well, put it on a special offer. And then I'm just going to read the little highlights over here. I'm just going to go over the highlights. Again, you can read them. Don't run out of stock. Check out the competition. Provide more information for your customers. And make your eBay store a success. It was only that simple, right? No, I'm only kidding. No, it, it's uh, no. If you follow these steps, I'm sure it'll help. You know. Now, there's really not much here. There's a little advertisements on the bottom here. Um, if you do want to leave rep a reply, you need to log, you know, be logged in to post a comment. Okay. Uh, so this is what we got going over here. I give you the URL. If you follow these steps, it should help. Um, again, I can't guarantee that it is, but this is what they're saying. So if you get a chance, folks, check it out. Let's move to the next one here. This is from Tame Bay, one of my favorite ones. It's between this one, e-commerce bytes, is my other one. This one here, let me give you the URL. It's www.tamebay, one word, dot com. This story was posted August 29th, today, 2019, by Chris Dawson. eBay calls for sellers to have a voice in future trade deals. Tariff. Okay, so let's read a little into this here. It says eBay has today released a new data highlighting the contribution of the UK small and medium sized businesses to the UK exports and is calling for their voices to be heard in future trade negotiations. Frankly, here at Tame Bay, we, could not, we couldn't agree more. What sellers generally want is to be able to sell anywhere in the world with a minimum of fuss and that means high diminious thresholds so that consumers aren't stung to import duties and taxes along with the minimum of goods where imported is restrict in, restricted in different countries. Now again, I'm just going to scroll down here and you could read it, you could read more into this here. There's, it seems like there's quite a bit of text here. I'm not going to read all of this here, but um, well, here's the uh, ones over here, just the highlight one over here really quick. Top 10 SEM export markets in terms of money. Spent are the United States, Germany, France, Italy, Ireland, Australia, Spain, Sweden, Norway, and the Netherlands. Then it goes on to say here, top five product categories exported globally from the UK, SME, uh, yeah, yeah, via eBay, mobile and smartphones, wristwatches, laptops, and notebooks, music, rec music records, and trainers. Now, again, I'm just going to go down here. Uh, these, I believe, are the comments here, right? Yeah, these are the comments. Okay, you could also read the comments. And remember, just like any other ones, if you want to leave a comment, you are going to have to log in. Or if you don't, if you don't want to uh, go to the website, I recommend you go to the website too, folks, because uh, to, sometimes there's active hyperlinks, which I know there are right over here. These are all active hyperlinks, okay? When you see that little hand pop up, that's an active hyperlink. And you could read some of the stories here. Uh, here's some of the comments you could read here as well. I would definitely uh, go to the um, definitely go to tamebay.com to read the latest. And here's the latest news too. Okay, check it out if you get a chance, folks. Uh, I don't mind. Like I said, I put this information out for you and me and all of us who sell on eBay or any uh, e-commerce platform. So uh, you know, please definitely check it out. Go to the website. Tame Bay is very good. I 
been going to them for quite some time now. I like the information, and uh, they provide good information as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever been there before, but uh, you could also sign up for their uh, list too. Now, if you want to have your say again, uh, you could also click the note, a little box over here, notify me as a follow comments via by email. Uh, you, they want you to put your name, required website, you know, your email, and if you have a website, you can post there as well. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind, and uh, the story you're looking for, if you go to tamebay.com, is this one here. Okay, and we're going to move on to the last one. Now, I talked about this here once before, and they did a remake, you know, they did a revision on it, uh, apparently, or an update, uh, because you can see here it says it was about nine hours ago, okay. Um, the uh, Let me give you a URL. It's www.rushprnews.com, okay. And it goes on to say here, uh, I'm just looking for a date here. Uh, all right, well, this video was back then. It says December 4, 2017, okay, but... Uh, an eBay package delivered at the front door of a residential door. At the front residential door. Um, I don't know, but that's something there that, that's posted up, I guess, by this gentleman over here. Uh, but anyway, um, as you can see here, the title is eBay is suing Amazon for allegedly uh, poaching sellers. Okay. Uh, it goes on a little more here. It says online marketplace eBay is suing three Amazon managers for allegedly trying to poach sellers. The lawsuit claims that Amazon employees were trying uh, were signing up for eBay accounts under false names and allegedly sending private messages to eBay sellers inviting them to join Amazon. Wow. Okay. Um, I think I did the story a while back. I don't know when, but anyway, um, that's that's not right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I you know I don't think that's that's right at all. But it goes on to say here these allegedly uh, these alleged activities violate eBay's rules and filters. Okay. Uh, this isn't the first time eBay has accused Amazon of poaching. The company sent to Amazon a cease and desist letter last fall, which alleged that 50 sales representatives sent more than a thousand messages to eBay sellers, including those who run some of the best clothing stores on eBay. Wow! At the time, Amazon promised to conduct a thorough investigation, but if but eBay filed a lawsuit that was eventually sent to arbitration. The new lawsuit. Uh, the new lawsuit targets Amazon managers and accuses them of fraud racketeering over their alleged behavior. Now, if you want to read the rest of this story here, folks, I'll scroll down. I, again, you may want to go to the, uh, the website because they're probably most likely going to have an active hyperlink in here, which they do. And uh, you could read a little more into this here for yourself. Or if you don't, you could just pause the video. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share and if you want to be updated as to when I post out new videos please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. I wish you guys all the best in sales. Have a great day. Until next time, bye bye now.